Hi, I'm Jason, and vote for me for your U.S. Senator. With me is Marky. And actually, we got the comic dog again, known as Frankie. Yeah. I think that Frankie might be a cowboy today, which only leaves me a couple of options. I am either ninja or viking. I'm going to go with viking. Got the beard. Don't think ninjas have it. Yeah. All right. Um, we're... It's been three weeks since we've done anything on here, so we're just going to do a freestyle tonight. We've been drinking free darn good. We're going to call it Freestyle 2.0. We don't need to discuss why. <laughs> yeah, goddamn Yahoo or YouTube. So, yeah, Freestyle 2.0. Um, what would you like to discuss? Um, I would like to discuss SpongeBob SquarePants and why he does not have a comic book. I see this as a hot seller, a big ticket for Big Dog Inc. Get on big it, dog Big Dog Inc. Inc. You need SpongeBob SquarePants in your pants. All right. Um, All right, seriously. Um, in point one of our freestyle, we were discussing the jumping around, uh, the road home, and then, well, Bruce Wayne returns, coming out, and road home coming out, Prior to the conclusion. And taking place like at the end of and after. Um, yeah, I and hate it and it's not the only comic that does this. It's a very big problem with really I would say Marvel, Marvel DC and, and Image. Um, Image big problem <laughs> with Image United their first crossover. I mean I know one part of the end because I'm a spawn reader. I think you know a different part of the end because you read Shadowhawk. Uh, I actually do believe that if we read all the Image comics, we would actually know the entire story of Image United the way it end, ended by now. Oh, yeah. Like Savage, all you would probably need to read is Savage Dragon and you get the whole story. And it's, to me, it's just a, it's just a bad thing for these big companies to do. I mean, at least with the smaller companies, uh, I mentioned Big Dog Inc. earlier. They have an excuse, you know. They're 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 really rookies at this. But these other companies have been around too long to really do this to us. They know we hate it. Yeah. Um, one thing that I was giving praise to the Batman family was they were having a really nice, like consistent, consistent. You know, like what was happening. In, Red Robin was followed up with Gotham Central and all that. And it was feeling like a community. And now with the end of Bruce Wayne Road Home, but not having the end of Bruce Wayne Returns, it kind of fucks it up where we know that, okay, Bruce Wayne comes back. We know that, but we don't know how he comes back. And with Time Masters not being finished, Time Masters is what, only two or three issues in? Uh, issue four? Issue, there's still two more issues, I think, of it? I mean, okay. nothing is finished, yet you're releasing the next segment. And that's not my only time complaint. We have other books. Um, to stay on the topic with Batman, we could pick Superman Batman, which is just so far beyond. Their last issue totally skipped like two years to catch up. Um, and I think basically it was because it was a Halloween-y issue and they wanted Damien in it for whatever reason, so they did like Damien and Supergirl. It seemed current. Right. But the issue before was really two years behind. Yeah, with uh, Superman's feelings of Bruce Wayne's death. By the way, it was an amazing issue. Well written, but still very, very far behind. And if you read the issue, like the four issues prior to, was a story that took place Five, six years ago? It was... Oh, season six. They did the same thing. Yeah, it's... It's, it's a major problem. <laughs> it, again, it's really prevalent in your big companies. Marvel and DC are doing it just, like, nonstop. And it seems to be really bad in DC. Actually, it's worse than Marvel. Marvel's got more of a continuity problem, I think, with connecting, like, Fantastic Four to X-Men. That seems to be their problem. But this timeline lapse that DC runs is just so... Well, that's the issue of having... Okay, 
I'll give you a comic to write. You have this comic to write. I have a comic to write. But they're in the same community. And when your comic comes out on time and say my artist has the flu, I'm fucked. You're, you know, you want to keep up with your comics coming out on time. And I'm basically fucked because my artist is ill. I don't know if that's the same issue with what's going on with Bruce Wayne returns and the world at home. With, as companies, though, as Marvel and DC, I don't think it's an excuse for them. These are companies that have a lot of money. They can hire a part-time artist to fill in. And I'm not saying you fire the sick artist if he's sick. If this is an artist that can't do his job on the time scale you present it, not that you should be a douchebag, but you hired him to do a job. Fire him. Anybody else, if I don't show up to my job, I get fired. Yeah. I mean, they shouldn't be cut flack. You're a big company. If, if I don't know, let's say you're working with David Finch. He can't do the job. Fire him and hire another top-level artist. You have the money to do that. Spread your money around. You're... The, the better the book, the more continuity we have, the more you're going to sell, the more money you're going to make. And there was supposed to be more continuity, like DC said, we want to do more continuity. Where I per personally, I think that the, the easy solve is fucking let Batman be the Batman universe, let Superman be the Superman universe. Then I don't think you have these problems. But Batman or Superman, Batman. Let it be the Superman, Batman universe. Let it, it run by itself. Did now did Superman come? Back from his little like disappearing. Going you know, on. I I don't I read a lot of Superman books, but the one I don't read is Superman. <laughs> yeah, I don't read. I read like Secret Origin or Last Family. I read all the like mini series, wow. other world stuff. Yeah, so Superman. His yeah. main story kind of blows outside the fact that his actual like his kind of story where he comes from another planet. That's kind of cool. Because he might be the only alien that comes to Earth and saves us. Mark the man, huh? He's just a copy of Superman, really. You know, it, you know what I mean, though? It was like he was the first one of these ETs that comes down, and he's like, I'm one of the Jim Bo USA saves the world instead of take me to your leader. So I, I think that that's where Superman's unique and kind of neat. But the story's been beat to death, and that's why I think the Elf World one is good. All right. Um, since we're talking about Superman, Action Comics, they have Death, who's the Virgo comic from Sandman, if I'm not mistaken. I don't read many Virgo comics. It's really the only Virgo comic that I've really read, or I think Jonah Hex, and I believe Deeper Vendetta was run through Virgo, which yeah. I did read. So what is your feeling of having a Vertigo comic book character coming along into a DC? I book? personally don't have a problem with it unless you screw up my storyline. If you can introduce me a new character, however outworldly from a different universe, I don't care if you take fucking Spider-Man and put him in my Batman book. If it flows okay and I can read it, I don't really care. I think that it's interesting to take such an outlandish character and introduce her to a very human character in Lex Luthor. But, again, if this book reads well, which I haven't read this one yet. I did buy I it. Read. It's sitting up there for me to read. If it's going to flow okay, then congratulations. You did something that not only it sounds like you did a good job, but I think you did it in a difficult situation by taking a character from a different universe and combining them into a new universe, which usually fails. I think they did a great job with Captain Adam from DC going over to Wildstorm because of the bleed, and then bringing Captain Adam back. But it, it can be done, and when done well, it deserves a golf clap. Um, it's a good... It, it, just something that usually fails. All right, so we're now going to. Fuck. Holy fuck, where did the time go? 
when you're drunk, time goes by quick. Uh, do you think we have five minutes to talk about what we wanted to talk about? Batman Beyond? Yeah, we can nail Batman Beyond Okay, here. Batman Beyond. Um, in our previous review, I said it was going to be the clone of Hush. You said it was going to be... The son of Dick Grayson. Turn comes to find out it is the clone of Dick Grayson. Dick Grayson. We, if we blend our ideas, I think we win. Yeah. <laughs> like that free... Rappé. Yeah, so check us out in the back. It is thing majigis of our YouTube thing. Um, I have a problem with Bruce Wayne becoming emotional. And me. I totally actually agree with the emotional Bruce Wayne because of his age. And I think finding a companion in Harry... Um, out of Terry's willingness to just fight, it doesn't matter if he's outmatched, overmatched, losing, winning, Terry is there to fight, and which is, I think, Bruce's best strength. Yeah, but, okay, like, if I understand from the comics, Bruce Wayne jumped in front of the bullet, got Dick fucked up. Dick looks at people as soldiers. That's all they are. Are there soldiers for the cause? Why is he getting all mushy for beginners? Because he's fucking old. Old people look at things differently. They 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 look back, and I think that Dick was at a point in Bruce's life where Bruce was still young enough to where he didn't necessarily need somebody, and I think that. Bruce now feels as though he needs somebody. That's not really written in here, but that's what I got out of the read. Well, look at the Kingdom Come Bruce Wayne. He was still rugged, badass, mean motherfucker. But he had a whole team of people with him. If you remember, he had that like Batman team that he was like training under him also. So he took a bunch of people under his wing also. Every old version of Bruce has got somebody under his wing. But he's not... A mushy. Oh, I, oh, I don't know if he was mushy because look at issues one through three where basically it was like he basically said, yeah, fucking kill Terry. Yeah, he wanted to get rid of Terry. But in five, it was unconditioned. It wasn't Bruce. It, he, like, he has his dog. That's all Bruce. His dog and his robot. You know, and the will to kick out. He doesn't and mean I, I feel... He'll find someone else. I feel as though, I just feel as though he's connected to McGinnis in a point where he felt guilty for sending McGinnis out there. McGinnis isn't trained. He's not a soldier. And I think that Bruce is at an age now where he's able to account for more than just winning the fight. He's able to realize, you know, Terry's a good guy, but I while he's fighting for me, I might be actually destroying his life because I might be turning him into me. Well, Dick hates him. Tim seems to hate him. Barbara hates him. Amanda Waller still hates him. He doesn't... He, he shouldn't care. He never would care if someone cared but about if him. But if you... Let's, let's just say he's 80. Okay. Let's say he... Because he's old. Mm -hmm. Let's just say he's 80. he's 80. If everybody you know hates you and you're 80 and you have now a friend that does not hate you, that is doing anything for you, are you not going to want to protect this person? You, you're past your life expectancy as a male already. Yeah, but... Uh... I know it's hard to picture Bruce that way, but he's still human. Yeah, okay. That means Batman Beyond shows the human side. Issue number five shows the human side. I don't want Bruce to stay emotional, but from time to time, I don't mind it. Because when this becomes a regular series... Which, that's that's coming up. We're almost out of time. Batman Beyond's going to be a regular run okay. series coming up. Yeah. After the miniseries, look for him to stay emotional, but look for him to be all that is man. Yeah, and... He's just becoming a little bitch in all this comics, becoming all emotional. I guess that's what happens with time travel. Talk to you later.